Funny how you think I need you, but honestly, I don't need anything. Like what you see, you can look, but I won't let you touch up on anything. I'm independent, I'm so sufficient, and I don't need a wedding ring. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, in this video, I actually want to do something a little different. So, as you guys may or may not know, um, I do acting, I, I act, I like to act. That's something that I am extremely passionate about. That is my main goal of what I'm going for in my life. That is what I can see myself doing. Trinity with an Oscar soon. Please remember that to keep this face. No, remember this face because that is the plan. When I first started acting, I was always looking for um, advice and like tips on how to start and where to go about it or and, and just doing my research and I feel like it is extremely important to do research if you're trying to get into this business. It's extremely to, important to learn about the business itself. And I've noticed there's not really a lot of videos on those types of things on YouTube. So, so in this video, I'm just going to show you guys how I go about doing self-tape auditions. What a self-tape audition is, it's basically an audition that you do at home. Say you can't make it to a certain destination, you can't make it to an audition, say you're all the way in New York and there's something in LA. The audition is tomorrow and there's no way that you're able to fly all the way to LA and just one day just like that. So there's a lot of casting directors who allow you to do self-tape auditions. It's always good to ask. If you know for a fact that you're, it's gonna be a hard time, I feel like there's no problem in asking. A lot of the time they will let you know or they'll state in the casting notice that they're accepting self-tapes so you can send one in and they'll give you like an email address or anything like that. So in this case, we're going to do it as, in if, you're do as if you're doing it yourself. There are a lot of places where you can get an audition self-taped more professionally. But I'm just going to show you guys how to do a self-tape audition from home. Okay, so the things that you're going to need for a self-tape audition, you're going to need a blank wall or like a nice space. Basically, a, a blank space would be best, but me personally, I use the wall behind me because it's just like, it's plain Jane, it's white, whatever. If you try to like use like a t tapestry or something, things like that are a little distracting, so I would say go for like a, a solid wall. Just go for any kind of solid wall, white will be best in my opinion. Um, you'll need some good lighting. A ring light will be awesome. I have a ring light because I do my videos. So if you have a ring light because of whatever you have a ring light for, that would be an amazing thing to do. That's what I use. If you don't have a ring light, you can also use natural lighting if you have good lighting. Just make sure the most important thing is you just want to make sure that they can see your face. Yeah, make sure they, they can see your expressions. But I would say get a lamp if you don't have natural lighting or a ring light. A lamp is just as good. I used to always use a lamp when I would do my um, self-tape auditions in the past as well. Another thing you will need is something to record on. A camera will be best if you have a camera, whether it's a digital camera or a Canon, a Rebel, a camera like that. Or if you do not have a camera, like just a separate camera from your phone, use your phone. People are so... Uh, People really doubt how clear your phone really is uh, when it comes to making video and taking pictures. If you don't do it on selfie mode, if you do it on the regular picture mode, it is so much more clearer to make a video. Also, um, something to hold the camera. If you have a person to record, that is awesome. Have a person hold your camera for you and vice versa, whatever. If you don't have a person to record, you can always just use a tripod. You can get these anywhere. You can get them at Walmart, Target. I know Walmart has them for like $15. You want to make sure that the camera is getting from at least, I would say from your chest above or even sometimes your shoulder. Cause like the most important thing is you want to, who's face at me? <laughs> Next thing that is really important is a reader. Now, if you're going to be doing a self-tape audition, I feel like the best thing to do is to make sure that you have someone to read with you. If you don't have a person to read for you or with you, um, here are some options of what you can do. But this is what I do sometimes when I really, it comes to the point where I really don't have anyone to read for me. A lot of the times, some direct cast and directors and stuff will let you just read and then skip over the lines that are not yours. So basically you'll just pause in between. Hey, what's up? 
No? Why? What happened? Okay. What the heck? Is, is this real? Which I feel like is more acceptable than what I'm gonna tell you because I sometimes it's better for me to follow along with someone. So another thing that you can do, you can use your voice memo on your phone to record the first lines, record the other lines, and try to pause and then continue. Hey, have you been on Facebook today? Just get on. Yeah, I spoke to Amanda about it today. Hey. Hey, what's up? Have you been on Facebook today? No. Why? What happened? Just get on. Okay. What? Is this real? Yeah, I spoke to Amanda about it today. The only problem that I feel like is with that is you're going to take a lot longer because as you're going and as you're reading, you're not always going to be reading it the same way. So and then you're going to have these pauses and then sometimes it's going to start before you and then you're going to have to start over. No, why? What happened? Just get on. Okay. What the heck? Is this real? See? So that's, I feel like that's the utmost last thing to do if you really don't have anything else, if you can't pause or whatever then do that, but shoot for having a reader, and if you can't do that, then a lot of people allow you to just skip over the lines that are not yours. Now for makeup, um, whenever I do a self tape audition or go on auditions in general, I like to do my makeup as natural as possible, as if I hardly even have on makeup. I don't really wear foundation much, but, cause I feel like foundation makes me look cakey a lot of times. But if you can put on foundation and it still looks like your skin, what you wanna do is just make sure that your makeup is natural looking. So, I would say best go with some eyebrows if you don't have any, some eye mascara and maybe some Blistex or lip gloss. You don't wanna go out with some crazy bomb red um, <laughs> lipstick and your eyelashes all done and you like, just you come out like just bomb, not look like yourself. What you wanna do, you want to look like the most of yourself as possible so they know what they're working with. So they know that if they need to add some things, like if your character is like this, then we can put on a bomb red lip on you or something, things like that. That's how I think, I'm pretty sure. I feel like it's best to just look as natural as possible because they wanna see you. As for wardrobe, I say simple. Keep it simple. I have a specific um, t-shirt that I like to wear whenever I do self-tape auditions. For the most part, I'm always wearing this shirt because I feel like it's it's comfortable and it's solid and it's just, it's plain and simple, it's basic. It can go for anyone. So I'm um, trying to avoid logos or like crazy patterns on your shirts or like rips and holes, just solid, basic, um, Solid basic shirts. Shirts mainly, because if you're doing a self tape audition, your pants will not be shown. Like I said before, it's only gonna be from like your chest up or maybe sometimes even your shoulders up. So if you're wearing, a lot of times when I'm doing self tape auditions, I'm not even gonna lie, I have like PJs on because you're not seeing all that. But if you wanna put on some pants, put on some pants. No one's gonna see your bottom, so it don't. Even, it honestly really does not matter. And also stay away from black. Um. Black and white, stay away from black and white. Black and white can be distracting. If you have a white background, I'm pretty sure you don't wanna have a white t-shirt on. And then if you have a white background, I'm pretty sure you don't wanna have a black shirt on because it's it shows, it brings the attention to the shirt rather than to your face. Now that you are ready, your dress, you are in your makeup, you know what you're going to wear, you have your reader, you have your camera. Now what you want to do once you're in front of that camera, you are going to, the best thing to do, I say, before even press and record, or even record it, but do a test run. Run with your reader, run with your um, partner, just try it out, practice it a couple times before you go ahead and do it. That's the great thing about self-tapes, because before you go ahead and do it, you have as much time as you want, technically, depending on how early you did your self-tape audition, as much time as you want to practice and go over it before it's actually time to record it. And then you also have um, options. You can continue to record different ones and see which one you like better. So once you do that, yes, do a test run. And then once you're ready, let it go. 
First thing you're gonna do, you're going to slate your name and the role that you're going for. And after you slate that, slating your name is basically saying, hi, my name is so-and-so and I'm going for the role of blahzy blahzy blah, whoever. My name is Amanda and I'm going for the role of Ashley. And then you stop. And then you go in to your script or whatever, the monologue or whatever it is that you have to do. If you have a monologue, you don't need a reader. So you go into whatever it is and then continue, you stop. And that is it. That is basically how I go about doing my self-tape auditions. I hope this video helps you guys. I hope it's informative. I hope after this you are ready to go on and self-tape your audition and go into that actor's life and shoot for the stars and go for your dreams. You feel me? If you, if you want more videos like this, please ask me. Feel free to ask. I have no problem um, making more videos like this. I love acting and I love giving tips about it. If I can help someone, I will be, I will feel amazing and that's just what I'm here for. So please remember to like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. She'll be here in a few hours. Wait. I just like to have choices, you know. Huh? <laughs> so I just like to have choices. I messed up? <laughs> you skipped my line. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You paused. Huh? I, said, I didn't pause. know. This. I know, I know. <laughs> Fudge sickles. Fuck. Listen, we're done after this. We're done. Thank you. I appreciate you. Okay, that was actually pretty good.